and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 3. My name is Alex, I am the Silvermont. Last time we did the first few minutes, well the first 20 minutes or so of the Grand Archives. Today we will continue with this endeavour of ours. Huh, it's a fog wall. It's actually not a fog wall, buddy, but I'll forgive you. You tried. Wow, double fail. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we've got like no Estus because the last time we got smashed by many things. Oh, you know what? I actually forgot to do something. This reminds me, but we'll do it. It's an oh, hello. I forgot, but it's okay. No. Your shield bashing is unreasonable, buddy. If I could do that on a dime, I would too. Notice these specific ones in the uh, archives are using crystal magic weapon. Oh, that's a really good combo you got, you arse wipe. Uh, no. God, I might have to use an ember to heal. That would be upsetting. I mean, I've got loads of them, but... I don't really want to go human moding, open myself up for invasions, if I'm honest. You Bastard! You really are gonna survive with that much bloody health? Oh, and now he's gonna. If I kick him, he's gonna. Mm hmm. Douchebag. Didn't even drop a chunk. What a bastard. You're a chunk. Is there anything out here? I don't understand. There must be. What is the point? Is it to show us the item up there? Maybe that's it. Probably. Do you think I'll get my Estus back if we have an invasion? Uh, sorry, a summoning. I'm calling them invasions. I mean Dark Moon Blade summonings. Because I still need three of those stupid ass ears. Oh, I think there's a shortcut just here though, isn't there? Yes, there is. Good timing, because we really need to replenish everything. Our entire lives. I should have done that at the end of last episode, then I could have gone back to Firelink Shrine and spent some of these souls. Oh, whatever. This is going to move a bookcase. Noise, noise. But I must have missed, because I know there's another bookcase there you can move. Uh, ah, doesn't matter. I'll figure out eventually, and I know it's nothing super interesting, but I'm trying to show his much that I can, although I know I don't know everything. Because I know if I miss something, people are going to go, oh, you missed so-and-so, and it's like, I, yeah. Most of the time I know if it's something I missed. Though in Dark Souls 3, considering I don't know all that much yet, it's entirely possible why I'm going to miss I don't understand why that guy, like, always runs away and then tries to run back. It's like, why don't you just try not sucking? <laughs> Incidentally, as I don't know if we'll be showing it in this playthrough, but if Orbeck vanishes from your Firelink Shrine, you will find him here, by the way. So, just thought I'd point that out. In case you miss him. Oh, it's driving me nuts that these dudes survive with like 1% of health. Of health? Of their. You know what I mean. Surviving at 1%. It's really upsetting. This place in general is quite upsetting because I need wax. Wax! Ah! Okay, I'm not safe there. Or there. Oh god. No! That was so close. Oh jeez. I should have dunked. In the head. Rudeness. Titanite scale? Okay, sure, why not? I got I got a crossbow. Gonna use it. Put it to good use. Yes, just die please. Do us all a favour and die. Ha ha ha. I really should have dunked my damn head. 
Oh, I don't know if I'm going to survive this actually. That might have been a really stupid idea. Ooh. <laughs> All that for a shady gem. Which I got another one of just then. Mmm, that's rather upsetting. I'll take my anger out on this stupid ass table. No! It vanished whilst I was hitting it. That's not cool, bro. I hate these stupid things. Can I, like... Oh, okay, that... It doesn't work. It says reduces undead curse buildup, but... It don't, because you can't use it. But there's the flesh bright ring, so whatever. Um, where are we now? Okay, I see, and yeah, now we're outside. I see these dumbass pilgrim butterflies running around. Why even bother to exist if that's how you're going to exist? Pointless ladder, I like it. Uh, it's, it's not pointless, it's stupid. Uh, I remember our buddies from the profaned capital were here too. Come on. Show yourself, fiend. Ha! Have a taste of my crossbow. You coming? You coming? Yeah, here we go. That's pathetic, dude. I've never seen anything as pathetic as you in my 25 plus years. Almost 26 now. Probably 26 in August. And I started this channel when I was 22, I think. Look at your face. What is it, a skull? Stupid. What is that? Shield wings? Think again. I hope that was the one that was going to ambush me here. Oh god, it wasn't. That genuinely made me jump. You might have heard it in my voice. Um, okay. I feel like his psychic powers displayed themselves then by attacking where I was going to be. Maybe I just was stupid and rolled into it. There's some stuff up there. That's what I'm going to say for now. There's some stuff up there. What can we see from here? Jack Diddley. Where the hell is all this stuff? You know, like... Audia's... Audia's Keep? Yes, where's Audia's Keep? Probably very far away. Uh, Aldrich's Cathedral. Cathedral of the Deep. I guess Aldrich's Cathedral, Cathedral of the Deep, is vaguely close to Aldia's Keep, Cathedral of the Deep, Aldrich Deep, Aldia Keep. I don't know, maybe I got brain damage or something. There's a way down there, how do I get down there? Up. No, down. But yeah, that was probably talking about that good dude. Good dude? I don't know what a good dude is. Seems upsetting. Oh, yep, here we... No. Is... Hmm. Hmm. That's worrying. I remember looking at this on my first playthrough, but I don't remember if I jumped on it or not. Frankly, I don't want to risk it. Like a biscuit. There's definitely a way down there, but what... How am I missing the way down? You know, I'm just gonna fall like a special person. It's fine. Hollow gem. Maybe... Maybe I did... Yeah, I must have come here last time and just forgotten about it. Eat dickhead. Eat that. What you gonna do? What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. Hey. Fuck out of here with your face. 
Look at look at look at his face. Look at him. Stupid. You don't even deserve to live. I'll give you this hollow gem. Go stick it up your butt. I don't know how big these gems are meant to be. That would be very painful, quite possibly. <laughs> Good, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if we can take out a couple of these. Hey. Not oh, upsetting. Probably should have just done it one at a time, but that's all good. Yes, yes, come over here with your stupid faces. Don't do that. Oh, you smash. Well, whoa. Upsettingly fast combos. Stop this ridiculous wombo combo. God. How rude are you? Oh, wow, I didn't realize there was more. Okay, that's just a dead body. Nice scythe. It prodded really very much prodding. Oh. Oh ho. Ah. No, I know. Mm. Why? Don't make me do stuff like that from soft. Oh, what? Bummer. Well, I'm not surprised, but I guess that's a better way to go than how we can die in Irithyll. Grey Rat was a thief who fancied himself a martyr for the poor, which is what drove him to climb the wall. Apparently the ashes are just his hand. Gross. Damn. Sorry, Grey Rat, we couldn't... We couldn't save you. But, you know, he went out doing what he loved. Stealing shit. So, here's something interesting to note. Apparently, the voice actor for Grey Rat is the same as the voice actor for Lonesome Gavlan. Gavlan Wheel? Gavlan Deal? Gavlan Feel. Gonna run past you suckers. Don't give a shit. Supposedly. I'm not... I've not checked in the credits, but... Oh, yeah, right, there was a thing here. Dude, I don't even give a shit. I was gonna come down here anyway. You... Punk trick buster. Give me that. Crystal lizard. More like... Think you're hot shit? How about now? Dude, now I'm just gonna piece past you. See ya! Gonna follow me? Oh no, the elevator's gonna be stuck upstairs, isn't it? This could be unfortunate if he follows me. Dude. Rude. Rude o'clock. But yeah, Gavlan and Grey Rat, same voice actors apparently. The reason I found that out is because someone... <laughs> someone left a comment saying, um... The language that Gavlan speaks is apparently a language that the voice actor made up. And they heard that from apparently the voice actor himself on a um, Facebook post or something. And apparently they also linked to my lore video on Gavlan, which is pretty cool. I really would like to do an interview on some of the people who work for Dark Souls. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Whether it's, you know, voice actors, developers, or anyone. Especially voice actors though, I think. I actually tried, uh, like last year maybe? With the voice actor of Strayed, Framped, um, <laughs> hey buddy, uh, Peter Marinka. He's voiced, he was also the voice of King Allen to Demon Souls. And of course, he's done like loads of other things outside of Dark Souls and Demon Souls. 
I knew him first, I think, as oh God, someone in the Dark Materials book, uh, like radio adaptation. I think maybe Lee Scoresby? Is, it, is that the name? I don't, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. Mostly I associate him with Strayed. Gargoyle fame spear, because I think Strayed's awesome. You can't actually use it, but hey, I guess it's fine. Oh, I really thought that was going to be like a sweep for a second. It looks like he's going to sweep, but then he stabs. Really upsetting. Hm, whatever. But yeah, but I got through to the agent of Peter Marinka, and they were like, oh, he's on holiday. And then I just never followed it up from there. Dude, really? What are you doing? I'm not too upset, but... No, no, I'll be upset if you fall. Come on. Oh! Oh god, I, sh I could have stabbed or fallen on him then. There we go. Yeesh, I almost ruined my own life. But it's cool. But yeah, I tried with Peter Marinka. Maybe I should try with some of the other voice actors, like, um... Oh, I can't remember the name, but the voice actor of Solaire and Alfred from Bloodborne or I don't know any of them really would be fine <laughs> obviously I would be a bit biased to some of my favorite characters but again they'd probably be like who the hell are you I don't want to inter I don't want to be interviewed by you random guy I got better things to do I'm a busy man slash woman Hello. Isn't there two of you suckers? Speaking of voice actors though, I also know there's, uh, I think Ruth Negger is the voice of the Emerald Herald. She's also in, um... Wait, is there? Like, no way back up from there? What the hell? She's also in the World of Warcraft movie, which is really weird. As, like, the Queen of Stormwind. It's really weird hearing the Emerald Herald. Oh, okay. I'm going to be saved by my Dark Moon summoning. Or maybe not, as the case may be. How? Is it like. Oh. Um, I'm here to save the day, buddy. I Ito. Yoka. Yokado. I'm here to save the day, buddy. To smash this invader. I'll 2v1 an invader. I'm a Dark Moon Blade. Why? Why does this keep happening to me? Now I have no idea where the gargoyles are in relation to me. But yeah, that stuff's really annoying. When you get summoned, and then it's like, haha, ha, no. Come on, let me finish you off before your buddy shows up. Yeah, yeah. Look at the sun, I hate it. Why is it a dark sign? You're a dark sign. I honestly have no idea why the sun is now a dark sign. It's like, maybe it means the fire is well and truly fading. And the world is going weird. Oh, but there's another voice actor, by the way. I mean, not not like there. I didn't just suddenly see them. Like, hello, I am the voice actor, and now I am an enemy. Uh, no, another one that sprung to mind. David Gant. Another really good one. He voiced um, <laughs> Oswald of Kareem, who I'm sure you all remember. Which is a really good role, but I prefer him personally as um, Lord Audia. The scholar of the first sin. I think Audia had some of the best lines and the best performance in in Souls. Like, all of Souls, I think Audia had some of the best lines and delivery. Of course, that's just my opinion. There's also the voice actor of the doll and uh, Maiden in Black and uh, Lady Maria. I am not even going to try and pronounce her name. Yay, there's an undead bone shard, the last one we need, by the way. 
Here's another shortcut. Did I miss some stuff out on the... I think I missed some stuff outside. Try, I can't take this. I didn't want to do that. Whatever. But yeah, her name's... Um, I, it's a name I cannot pronounce. That was weird. Don't you dare. But yeah, it's a name I really can't pronounce, but... That'd be a fun interview. But again, any of them. Maybe I should try that again sometime this year. It's like a m mass email them, which is probably really annoying, but... I'm sure they get like hundreds of emails a day. But, you know, I think it's worth a shot. Stabbing. This dude is ridiculous, by the way. He walloped the crap out of me more than once. Oh, shite. Can I poise you to death? No, I can't. Look at that, he's doing magic damage and physical damage and... You would think doing like three damage types. Good god. Yeah, you think doing three damage types would suck, but no he doesn't. I told you that guy's ridiculous. Maybe I should try parrying him. Hmm. Yeah, you can see some stuff up there just about, which means we'll be going up there. But, uh... Ugh, rude knight, man. I hate him. This stupid-ass sword. This has amazing range and the damage is ridiculous. Ah, uh, I should have swapped to the Hornet Ring then. Oh well. Let's see how much stun locking we can do here. Wow. It's gonna buff up. Oh, here we go. Come on. Stabbing! Yeah, what do you think? That sound like a good idea? Getting some, like, voice actor interviews? I, I think it would be fun. Oh, did I miss you, buddy? Can you... Do you want to jump over here so I can kill you? Wow. Nice dropping. Yeah, you're going to get stabbed and die. Didn't drop shit. Oh God, I'm going to have like a million souls at this rate. I know I have at least enough souls to level up 10 times. That's funny. Um, yeah, there's an item all the way up there. Now this is going to be pretty tricky. Because there's some... There's some pain. Pain is imminent. Time for revenge, you bastard. Mob enemy ahead. Try eliminating one at a time. Can we eliminate them one at a time? Because I ended up pulling all three of them. On my first character, it was that was not nice. It was not nice. Let's see if we can get Katana Boy first. Do I go to Katana? Here comes Captain Cold Steel. I'm gonna teleport behind us, but it won't be personal, kid. Shit! They're all coming now. They all coming. Where's my Hornet Ring? Here's my Hornet Ring. So I can parry you, and that will be... I don't want to parry Great Sword. Great Axe. That would be really stupid. Oh no, the poise is amazing. Wow, the Shockwave is amazing too. Come on, do your damn attack. Oh. Just as I use my... Ah, oh, do you reckon I can kill him really fast? Come on, stop. Come on, please get killed, get killed, buddy. It's actually kind of annoying how frequent these summons are whilst, um, oh shit. Whoa, is this guy in, like, New Game Plus? No, never mind. Um, yeah, it's kind of annoying how frequent these damn summons are at the moment. It's like, I wait, like, two hours... Oh, dude, what are you doing with your health? Please heal. Where is where is this bastard? Where is this damn red? Oh, f damn it. Yeah. 
is it me or did I? I didn't get. Oh. Oh, that stuff is so annoying. Like Dark Moon Blades. Why? It's a cool idea, but it just. Ugh, it just doesn't work. You. I mean, I guess I guess the waiting hasn't been too ridiculous at the moment, but you just wait so damn long to get summoned, and then like nine out of ten times the host just instantly dies as you're loading in, or something like that happens, and it's like, oh, so annoying. <laughs> we can line of sight this. Don't you teal? But yeah, and, God, like that time. Sometimes you get like a red orb thing that leads you to the invader, but I feel like I didn't get one that time. I mean, maybe I did and I didn't notice it, but... Oh, dude, just come around the corner. I don't care about your stupid ass guitar. I'm gonna poke you to death. And he drops his fantastic double katana thing. What are you wearing? Is she wearing the firekeeper's robe? What the hell? Ow. Don't you dare heal. You can... You can parry. Why can you parry? I can parry too. I can't... I can't parry magic, but... Do I have my hornet ring equipped? Yeah, I do. Dude. Rude. Get your back away from the wall. Ya bitch. You ain't no fire keeper. Fuck out of here. I'm gonna backstab ya. <laughs> try and cast a spell. Come on, try. Stabu! That's what you get. You ain't a firekeeper. You just a buster. <laughs> yeah, I kind of bullied her a bit because I was upset with the Dark Moon nonsense. No idea what's going on here. Like, crystallized, hollowed, giant. Almost looks like the killing of the first flame stuff coming up in the back. Is it a Seros? I've I don't know, that statue is pretty freaky deaky though. As is this stupid ass Framp statue. Get out of here. Oh yeah, and the Faram Knight drops Faram set. No, he doesn't. Did I miss out on his drops because I killed him just as I spawned in? I don't remember even what he does drop, but... Does he drop the Faram set and I miss out on it? Hmm. Well, shit, that's a bit stupid, but not the end of the world. Uh, it would suck if he dropped, um... What's that? Ah, friend. It would really suck if he dropped a ring or something, though, because... Yeah, I would need that, kinda. Oh well. We're getting near the end now. Um, should we do the boss this episode? Nah, I think we'll end it here. But actually, before I forget, there's something I want to go do. So we'll go do that now, and then we'll end this episode. But what has it been like? The last two episodes were like three Dark Moon summons, and I've never even gotten to fight in any of them. Uh, that last one just... Because, like, I had no idea where the sucker was. No way of knowing where that post was. And then just as I round the corner, he's like, I'm dead. Like he thought he was old King Doran. I hate you, Doran. Actually, you're alright. I'm going to spend some of these souls. God, I don't know how much I should level up, though, you know? Uh, do we drop here? Yes, we do. And if you remember, 
some time ago I looked at those knights. Actually, I'm just going to check over here real quick. Okay. Maybe, I don't know, three, four episodes ago or something when we started Lotharic Castle. I looked at these knights and I was like, we're not going to go over there because there's like nothing there. Uh, what the f Okay. Yeah, if I remember correctly, there's not even an item down there, but... No, we'll fight these two. I'm probably going to end up dying, but... We'll fight these two and then call it. Oh god, it was a greatsword guy. No! I hate greatsword guys. Oh god, now he's a buffed greatsword guy. Okay, that's fine. He's dead. These guys are a lot weaker than the ones in the archive. That's fine. But yeah, they're just sitting there staring at their dead buddy. And I just busted their buddy into like a million bits. Ah, sucks to be them, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna call it for now. <laughs> we'll continue next time. Yes, it's a dead end. And, uh, oh, in case you guys are wondering about Carla's set, which I forgot to get earlier because I forgot to pick up the ashes, uh, I picked that up, so don't worry. There's probably a lot of stuff I've gone back and picked up off camera whilst I was just exploring areas and stuff, but <laughs> it's all good. I'll see you guys next time for more Dark Souls 3. And next time, Silvermont will fight gold fatties. Nice. Look forward to that. Ciao. Hey! Oh dear. Another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one. Purloiner of cinders. Mind you, the mantle of Lord interests me none. <laughs>